Hello, we have just finished our international encounter this year and uh, just these, these days and we have some other few days here and uh, we have uh, friends and folks from all over the world, teachers which are still here with us in Valencia, Spain and uh, we are using these days to study a bit more uh, and to understand some other thing. In this call we are talking about Miko Noden. This Mi comes from body uh, and uh, ko comes from katai, which means to, to hard and to hard, to plot, even you can say. So in this case, it is a field day which teaches uh, how to uh, put him, put or or put or any in such a position that it gets very difficult for him to move or to react. So we can use our secondary weapon, in this case, di tanto. So let's see. Well, this is the principle as we all know, and uh, then is a piece of knowledge which was developed by some particular master. So we have many ways to to find kuzure or variations uh, on this day. In this case, for example, let's see some some forms of mikono day. He comes. I won't move out. So he comes and he shows omote. He comes to pierce me all the way through. Very nice. One more time. I'll ask him to be this side so we can see better. Entering, sliding, and locking at the same time. Keeping locked, getting close to him, gaining space, and then using tanto. Him to be here so we can all see how, uh, how difficult it gets for him. He gets trapped, he cannot move, so we are in Suari and he comes to cut in Kesagiri and lives in my own katana. I'll get close to him, gaining space, so it is quite difficult for him to keep moving, gaining as much space as I need to be sure that he cannot take his sword out in this short uh, time. So I will change my grip here. And use my secondary weapon. So this is the idea of katai, of katamiru, or too hard. So, other one, he comes in a makongi, and in a very short distance, I use the, the angle of my back, and uh, the the first stage of the draw just to get here. So using my whole body I can get near to him. I can switch my hand, keeping him close to this side now, and having all this area of his body to pierce. We are showing we are analyzing this then quite slowly so we can understand but this would last only for a fraction of a second. Let's see now, for example, if he comes uh, in Yokonki using E4 as a stopping mechanism, using the, the support of the floor and, the, of course, the katana itself. So, I'm pretty sure you cannot use this area, this quadrant. this part of my body near the hips by the beginning of, of the leg. So for example, taking down, stepping over, making sure he won't be able to take his sword out and one more time having his body exposed so I put pierce. Well this was Miko Jordan, a particular kind of knowledge and practice which allows us to get him trapped and uh, somewhat hardened in his position so we can use our secondary weapon. Thank you very much.